Hey guys, Spears here, and welcome back to the episode of GTA Online. What do you want, Lamar? Come on! I just started, man! Anyways, if you guys want your intro in the next video, uh, post a comment about popcorn. I was just eating popcorn and I got a kernel stuck in my tooth and I can't get it out. And not like the kernel from KFC, that'd be weird having an old man stuck in my tooth. Anyways, uh, by the way, I'm going for 174 likes in this video. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you would, uh, hit that like button. Just something that I like. That's all. Oh. I just have money like that, clearly. Alright, great. So, uh, it never ceases to amaze me the amount of things that you, listening right now, find in this game. Even if you're not the one that found it. This game is like seven, seven or eight years old, right? Something like that. Alright? I remember what I was doing at seven or eight years old. You know what I mean? I was sitting there, I was playing video games, I'm like, what am I doing? I was playing GTA 4, that's what I was doing. I was like, Mom, if you run over these people, you get more money. She's like, alright, honey, whatever. Anyways, God bless her. So. What was I saying? You guys sent me a few videos of- that sounded like- did I just lag in real life? A few video- I did it again! Whoa! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I can smell burnt toast! A few videos of if I can find it here. It's definitely around here somewhere. Is it the- no, it's this guy right here. The tornado. Now you might be like, whoa! Tornado, get in the basement! Get in the tub! No, it's a vehicle. What? <laughs> You're gonna be surprised at what it can do. Um, very crazy things. It's like 007 invented this thing. He's like, I need to get over a fence. This is what I'm gonna do. Right now, you're like, that doesn't make any sense. Why, who, a fence? What are you talking about, Spears? We gotta, we gotta go modify it, though. We gotta buy it. It's gotta be delivered. And then we gotta modify it. It's the thing. It's just a waiting game. That's all we gotta, it's, it's always waiting. Uh. I'm gonna eat some popcorn while we wait. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. This thing might not look like much, but it's got a pretty, pretty little secret under the, uh, under the hood there. Under the trunk. Under the... Uh, back of the car. The back area of the vehicle is very special. Now, this is kind of deceiving if you wanted to do this yourself. Uh, you gotta buy this car for $30,000, all right? Now, $30,000 in GTA Online, legit- you can't even breathe for $35,000. Like, if you take a breath, like, <gasps> that's $35,000. You take another- <gasps> there's another one. Thirty-five. dollars What's that? Thirty-five plus thirty-five? What's well, $70,000. Right there. Boom. Quick math. Simple math, quick math. Pardon me. Hey, Benny, open up. Open up. Okay, gotta unlock it, right. Anyways, now that I spent like an hour and a half doing Lamar's mission there, that was great, foreshadowing. Oh, those are the guys I did the mission with, look at them. Wow. Ugh, finally. <laughs> I was a little worried he wouldn't open the doors for me there. So, <clears throat> like I was saying, you buy this thing for 35000 but you have to upgrade it for $375,000. That's like a little kick in the face, you know what I mean? It's like, here you go, have some fun! Boop! Now, I really don't need to do- well, do I? No, I don't- I don't need to do any of these modifications, but I, uh, I want to. Actually, don't do the rear bumper ones. Don't- don't- don't do that. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Uh... Oh! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Mmm... That dude left as soon as he blew me up. Like, legitimately. It's like, boom, and then, poof, just left the server. Gone. Oh, man. Anyways, oh, I didn't- I meant to slow down before I did that, but we're here. <laughs> Now, the whole reason we had to spend $375,000 on this thing to upgrade it is so that we can do this. Are you ready? Watch. Now, that's not the- that's not what- don't- hey, don't even judge me right now. I can hear it. I can hear you. You're like, ah, every car can do that. That's got hydraulics. Well, can every car do this? Hold on a minute. Uh, hold on. Don't move. Wait. Stop. Don't hit me, please. Check this out. Are you ready? Move, sir. Watch. Oop. My- my bad. My bad. I did it- I did it wrong. I am so goofy. Goofy guy here. Uh, now, it should work perfectly fine. I should have done it. Um, we had to put the different hydraulics in the trunk. I didn't think it was that particular, but it is. Here we go. Launch- actually, that's a launch pad that we put in there. Watch. You ready? Come on! It only works on the next-gen consoles? No way! It only works on an expanded and enhanced, so... Gotta go plug my PlayStation in. Ah! And just like that, we've swapped over to uh, GTA Online Expanded and Enhanced. <laughs> With awesome paint jobs and things that I guess I can't do on PC sometimes. Uh, you know what else I'm gonna have to do? That whole mission all over again. Bro, I spent an hour doing that. Do you know how hard that is to do with people that don't know what they're doing? <sighs> Alright, upgrade. Tornado Custom. Boom. There goes all my money. Womp womp. The only other thing we need to upgrade is... If I can find it... Where is it? Oh, hydraulics. 
that one. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now, after swapping generations of... How do I... There we go. Swapping generations of GTA from PC to PS5, uh, open my trunk for my launch pad. All right? It's my launch pad right there. Are you ready? Now, where's the button? I got uh, I got it right here. I got the button. <laughs> That's, uh... It's not what I meant to do, but it you saw it, right? It's my launch pad. Watch this. I can do it better. I can do it better. All right, that was a little violent. Um, I went back to the future there. Watch this. <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Um... Huh. I don't, uh... Yeah, all right. Uh, I don't know how to get... I'm trying to go straight up. But, like, I just keep launching to the side there. I'll get it. I'll get it eventually. Uh, it is a launch. I don't understand how that's possible. It's like there's a leak in the hydraulic system, and it's, like, blasting pressure. I don't know what's going on, right? It's something that's definitely got to be fixed, but, uh, what if I go like this over to here? Oh, boy. Oh, it's scary. <laughs> Watch that. Oh, God. Oh, don't step on it, man. Just jump at it. Don't step on it, you stupid. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take my launch pad somewhere else, uh, that uh, there's not as many buildings. Cause I'd like to be able to, like I said, go straight up, rather than right into the side of a building and blow my brain up. Like, legit, my- my skull just crushes. Actually, hold on, let's try it right here, maybe. Maybe we can try this right here. Uh, let me just pop my trunk real quick. Whoop! Almost lost my life there. There we go. Uh, what if I just run at it? Or what if I go like this, and just stand real close to it, like this? Like, real close, and then... And then... I don't even know, actually, what that was, if I'm gonna be honest with you. It's like I, like, morphed through the trunk, and then just became one with a pole. Um, spears in the pole! You know what I mean? Like, that pole went in me. That was gross. Um, but it happened, so... I don't even know what that pole- was it like a stop sign? There's just a random pole. I don't know how I managed to hit that, but I did. Alright, so standing right next to it is a terrible, terrible idea. What if we stand back farther and then walk forward a tiny bit and then do the- You know, none of it's, uh, none of it's making it any easier on me there. None of- That was just as violent as the last one. I be- <laughs> I think I lost half my face on the sidewalk. Can I, uh... I- I know that I can- because you guys have showed me that I can definitely jump straight up. So maybe there's just like a distance problem that I'm having here, like what if- you know what? That's just... Uh, right. So, let's try it again. I want to go straight up. I don't want to go... There we go! Oh my god. <laughs> oh no! Alright, and you also take zero damage from it. That is hilarious, bro. How does that even happen, though? Like, legit. I mean, and this is like one of the only vehicles that you can do it with. You're just opening a trunk, you walk behind it and jump. And it launches you like a hundred feet in the air or mock chicken into the side of a building, whichever one you want. Like, what? I can literally fly. I mean, I bet if I had a parachute, I'd be able to pull it right there. And it, I'm, I landed in the exact same spot that I just did. That's so weird. That is so weird. Is it like, I wonder if it changes if I hold it down, if I hold down jump or just tap it. Let's try that. Actually, I'm gonna run at it and jump, too, and let's see what happens there. Probably absolutely nothing good, but let's go. No, it, it's legitimately the exact same! That is so weird! Look at that! We're just literally... Hmm, I don't... That hurts my head. I don't understand how that's possible. And it's perfect every single time. Odd. Very odd. I mean, hey, if you guys want a car that comes with a launch pad, this is it. Like, I, you know what? I want to launch myself into the water, actually. I mean, not that it matters. Landing on anything is like landing on the water. But, that also doesn't make any sense, because why does that work out here, but it doesn't work in the city? You know what I mean? Like, I was, I, was, I was ramming myself into the side of buildings in the city. But out here, I'm like, I can fly, you know? I'm like a, like a little bird. I'm a birdie. Watch me. Whoop! Oops. <laughs> Awkward. Whoop! All right, see, that's what I thought would happen. What if I- what if I come at it from, like, this angle right here? Th hey! That's a little cooler! That kind of throws me like I'm a football or something. All right, so changing the angles on it does- does kind of help. I see. What about... 
Hmm. Running and jumping really just gets you squished. What about this side? Oh my god! <laughs> that's a... That's a little bit higher. Yeah. Oh, wow. Right on my neck, too. And I lost... N I might have lost, like, a tiny little bit of health. That's... That's really funny. I don't... It just... It blows my mind as to why that happens. At all. It makes no sense. M me joking around, saying that I might have a hi hydraulic leak in the back there? I feel like that isn't a joke. You know? I don't... <laughs> Anyways, uh... Let's try... Very edge over here again. Oop. Oh boy, don't stand- Ugh! What was that? <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, I just spit on my mic. Ew. Ewy. Ew. Alright, you're good. You're good. Whoop! <laughs> Whoa, that's a little bit farther. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Ooh, right on the tip. That was a lot of water. What the- Okay, go all the way to the left and then whoop! No! Ugh. See, that almost got me. That almost killed me. I'm perfectly fine, though. Just a little bit of neck burn. Uh, kind of a broken neck as well. I'm good, though. I just- I get up and shake it off. Like Wolverine, I got like that kind of healing. Uh, whoop! There we go! There we are! It, you know, it just couldn't put me up. I'm, hmm, I'm technically on the ramp up. I'm not actually there. Did it again, didn't I? Oh, 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 oh! Ha! Ah, there we go. Right in the perfect parking spot for me, too. Love that. Love that. I made it, though. I made it up here. It was a good goal to make for myself. I'm glad that we did it. It was, it was fun. Oh, all right. Actually, I want to launch myself off the, uh, off of where I landed now. See where I land. All right, you ready? Probably into a light pole, but... Whoa! Whoa! Did that just put me underground? Bro, that legit... It put me into, like, the void of space. I got my gun out for some reason? What was that? That was weird. <laughs> little goofy thing that it likes to do, I guess. I wanna tr uh, Sorry, I'm excited. I wanna try that again. What the- it legitimately launched me through the bottom of the pier, and then, like, straight through the ground. This thing scares me. This is a very scary vehicle. Like, standing behind here is frightening. It's like a nail gun. Whoop! And I don't know what that was. I hit nothing. So, that's what that was. Whoop! And again. Alright, so you must have to be on solid ground for this to work, because there's no way that- that's so glitchy, bro. It, like... Yeah, that's not solid ground. That's that's built up. That's made out of wood. It's a little wood wood thing. It's wooden. Or concrete. I don't know. It's not the earth though. How much the earth is. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video again. I will uh, see you in the next one. Subscribe if you haven't already. Alright? Alright.